really important that people understand that a lot of autistic adults that have been high masking are permanently disabled once they hit burnout. Um, they lose abilities, they lose skills, um, but also it can cause a lot of physical issues. I was physically unable to get out of bed for almost a year for the most part. Um, I was almost completely bed bound and had difficulty breathing, nerve pain throughout my body, um, very confused and disoriented all the time, unable to handle noise or sound input so I couldn't interact with my kids. Um, I lost my memory and had severe memory impairment. Um, and, and still do a lot of the time. I don't remember most things. Late stage burnout for a lot of autistic adults um, looks like being completely bed bound and unable to get up and move and do anything. That's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about raising awareness about what it looks like to be an adult that is autistic and what it looks like to go into burnout um, is because there's not a lot of available data about that. And it's really disabling um, and it's something that you might not recover from. And it's also important to note that the stress that a lot of autistic adults um, are under on a daily basis also causes a whole wide range of health issues such as autoimmune disorders, fibromyalgia, um, because of the stress on their system. It's been two years now since I've hit burnout and I have extreme fatigue. Um, I often have trouble breathing when I'm sitting up or standing up. I move very slowly and it feels like I'm carrying a hundred pounds on my shoulders when I move to do anything. And I only have about two hours a day of energy in me or ability to focus and actually think clearly. And then I get very disoriented and the rest of the day I can't really do anything.